green interwebs is Jack and K, and I just need to get a few things out of the way, get anyone who might not be following me on social media caught off the page, and explain my future plans for the channel. Things have gotten a lot more busy lately, but I'll go more into that in a bit. Essentially what this means for YouTube is one, I'm going to be putting the KCast on hiatus until further notice. I feel bad because it was supposed to be something low-key that I could do consistently, but the more time has been going on, the more effort I want to put into it, actually make it feel like a real podcast. And I just don't know if I can do that now. So I will give you guys an update when I got a better idea if and how I'm going to do that. As for Chippy Rebel Ziplash, you may have noticed there was no uploads last week. Doesn't look like there's going to be uploads this week either. I think I'm just going to take the rest of December off. Maybe even part of January. However, if I do get the time to edit something beforehand, I will upload them as they're ready to go. I feel bad considering I I finally would be able to keep up a consistent basis with YouTube. But the currently completing the projects I have going on is the last hurdle I have to go through before I can start a new schedule and a new mindset when it comes to recording, editing, and uploading. Furthermore, things have changed in my personal life that decreased the amount of time I can invest into online activities. And at this point, I feel you guys are old and update on that. So the big thing is this new job that I got. It's full time, 40 hours a week. And unlike the previous employment I've had, it's an average Monday through Friday job. So the only days I have off are the weekends, and uh, that's also the time everyone else has off. Making recording more difficult on me, considering how uncomfortable I can get recording when friends and family are around. You guys don't understand, it's hard enough for me to actually enjoy a video game without feeling awkward, let alone talk while playing it during the weekend. As for the job itself, on top of it basically being eight and a half hours that I'm away and unable to really work on anything, it's also about an hour drive there and back, so that's ten and a half hours that I can do daily squat productive for online activities with. On top of that, I also have this internship that I had going on before the full-time job, and I kind of want to keep it since it's giving me much more work experience in regards to video editing than my current job will. And honestly, any employment that I've had for a good long time. So it'd be smart for me to keep it up in my resume if for that alone, and they're being generous enough with where and when I work that I can actually afford to do that. Though I still gotta figure out when, and if I do keep it up, that's just gonna cut into the spare time I have even more. Right now, it's like I only have two to three hours before going to bed during the week, and I've already explained the complications with the weekend, but this internship would add complications to that. Still, it probably would be best for me to keep it up. Furthermore, early on in December I went to a convention. It was a good time and I managed to get quite a few costly pictures, but I only finished that up so that was kind of the struggle with uploading the first couple weeks of December and now the holiday rush comes in. I celebrated Christmas and that's coming up in a, less than two weeks now. And I still have to finish preparing gifts and helping out around the house. Not just for the holidays, but for the winter and in general. And this is just for you. This is just for the time I have dedicated to online activities in general. I haven't been able to work on custom amiibos or 
pretty much anything while I'm just getting adjusted to my new work schedule. I might end up cutting back on videos in general, just focus on more low key activities like drawing and customs, but eh, this stuff is a hobby for me, so I haven't really planned that it out yet. I'm not sure if I will. Still, if I'm not going to upload, you guys do deserve to have some sort of update on anything that I do that might be of enjoyment. So I will include links to the Cosplay Photo album if you're interested in checking that out. And I think I covered all the bases. Again, I do apologize for how rocky things have been lately, but it's just what happens when with adulthood in life. Still, I'm hoping for a much better new year. Even though it's not looking like I'm going to finish up Ziplash in 2016. It should definitely be done early 2017. I swear, we're not that far, guys. It's just a matter of getting it recorded and uploaded. And I'm hoping for a lot more projects. They have a scale of quality to Yellow vs. Leaf Green coming into 2017. Maybe not from an editing standpoint, but just from a good time standpoint. But I'll get more into that once we actually finish up Ziplash and I can actually focus on those projects. In the meantime, I do encourage you to follow me on either Twitter or Facebook so I can give you updates as I make plans around the changes in my schedule. Because I don't think things are going to become consistent for at least another month or so. So it's the best way to know what's up. One last thing I forgot to mention. I want to thank you guys for the feedback I've gotten throughout 2016. It has been few and far between, so I appreciate every little bit I get. I want to make content that's actually worthy of your guys' time, so anything I can do to improve it, I definitely will take into consideration. And I just really hope that the stuff I do in 2017 makes up for some of the stuff that's been coming out in 2016. Thanks again for those of you who are still sticking around for keeping up with me regardless of all the inconsistencies. And in case I don't hear back from you guys in 2016, I hope you have a wonderful holiday and a happy new year.